All right, guys, we got a great video in store for you this time. We're up here at our camp in North Florida. This video is predominantly about the aftermath of Hurricane Adelia that came through this area three days ago. We've got a couple trees to clean up on this property. We're bringing out the heavy equipment. We've got the bobcat, the chipper, a couple chainsaws. We're gonna clean up a few trees on one of our hunting lands, and then we're gonna head right into the heart of where Hurricane Adelia hit, the Gulf Coast of Florida. We're gonna be visiting Horseshoe Beach. We're gonna head out there to try to help some people. We're gonna fly the drone, and we're gonna get some footage of exactly what the impact looks like in that area. You're gonna to wanna to see this footage. Horseshoe Beach got hit hard. We flew the drone up and down the canals and over that entire island. Welcome to another episode of The Outdoors with Rich. I'm sitting here on a tree that you can see down there has fallen. We got a fence line back here. We got this oak and I think another pine tree that's down. Other than that, we're very fortunate and uh, our property did pretty well. We're about 40 miles, by the way, of where the storm passed through. Perry, Florida, Keaton Beach, Florida, and we're in a little town called Bell. So we're gonna be spending the weekend up here. Stick around and watch us do some chainsaw work. That's, the, uh, that's where the tree broke off. And we got pretty lucky because right there's one of our storage sheds that that could have easily come down on. There's our camp over there. I think even if it went the other way, unless the whole tree fell, if that whole tree would have fallen, I think it could have made it over there and damaged our roof over there. Need longer pipes out here to give more leverage. I, I mean, I'm strong, so it's no big, so it's no big deal. But looks good, huh? Yeah, if it don't come at you here. Store. Well, I was thinking that when I got back. Yeah, I was sorry like, you missed Ooh, it. that was great. All the trees done. Well, we need to get that one up there. That pine tree up there? That's no big deal. That whole thing will go in the tripper. What? The tree up there.
had to go get out the big dog. My dad refers to this. This is a man saw, the steel MS391. Look how long this joker is. We're gonna use this to cut up some of this wood. And, we, and because this is freshly alive, recently living, however you wanna say it, we gotta cut it small because it's good and wet and heavy. And then Ricky's gonna transport it. You got that one? Yeah. Don't break your back. Oh, I am an old lady. That one was stuck. I'll let you get the big one. Thanks. Well, I tried to get this one, but it was stuck. This trailer's been a beast for you, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to stand this one up. Good spot for it. Yeah. Alright, enough work for a while. Let's go see what else is going on around the area. The tractors are harvesting a nearby field where peanuts are growing, so we decided to take the drone up to check them out. Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are on, I guess, technically day three. We arrived here late Friday night, so we spent yesterday um, getting that tree cut up. Today, we are, which by the way, here's a lot of that tree stacked here in our firewood. We've got some older stuff here. I don't know if you can see that on camera and some of the newer oak that came down from that tree, which is about 40 feet that way. Um, kind of a weird weekend for me. You know, we weren't supposed to be coming up here this weekend. We had the hurricane come through. And so we made the change in our plans to come up here and cut this tree up, help my dad with a tree he had down over there, check on this fence line because my dad's got animals. And so basically it was the hurricane that changed things to have us come up here. One of my favorite songs in the whole world, trying to reason with hurricane season. If you've never listened to it, look that up. Trying to reason with hurricane season. It just puts you in a really interesting place. Well, that song's by Jimmy Buffett. And as you know, by the time this video's being released, uh, Jimmy Buffett uh, died at age 76. And he's the one that wrote that song. And, um, you know, he's brought me through a lot in life. Anytime we were in a good mood and we're heading 
to the beach or the Keys or out in the boat and we wanted to be put in a better mood, we'd put on my, um, my playlist which started off with probably seven, eight, ten Jimmy Buffett songs right up front. So we just put it on and play it in order. We wouldn't scramble it because we wanted those stacked Jimmy Buffett songs to get us in a better mood. There have been times where I've, you know, kind of down on life and not necessarily in the best mood. And I'd put on Jimmy and uh, it'd lift me up. So to hear of him passing was, was tough. Today we're going to go... Uh, check on I think we're gonna start off in the town of Perry you hear Ricky coming in on the four-wheeler he's already gone next door to my parents and picked up several gallons of bleach that we're gonna donate um, you can see the smoke going behind us we burnt up a lot of twigs laying around had the fire going last night it was too hot to sit near so we were still back up on the porch and the fans but hey appreciate you guys sticking with us it's gonna be a very interesting day so stick around and let's see what's in store all right, guys, we're out here at a friend's property. We made a quick pit stop because this tree actually fell uh, last year. I think it was during a storm, just one random day during the week, a storm passed through and dropped this tree. So this has kind of been on our to-do list before this coming hunting season. You can see back over here, I've got a feeder up. So we're gonna put some corn. I've got a camera over here. We're gonna get this ready for a possible uh, land for hunting season. So this was kind of on the way from our camp. Uh, moving out towards some of that, some of those places where the storms um, hit. We got another tree over here down that we'll take care of that is from this storm and we'll get this cleaned up and then we're going to get on our way to that, uh, that Hurricane Adelia path. All right guys, we got us a couple cases of water. Unfortunately, they're like $8.99 for a case of water out here in the country at this convenience store. We're just, we don't know what we're going to run into, so we're trying to get some cold water for some people. I'll take that one and finish it, and then I'll go buy one in there for in there. Just trying to offer some cold water and some, I guess, chainsaw service. Oh, and we topped off our chainsaw mix gas and brought two chainsaws with us, so we'll see. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the outdoors with Rich and want to see some of the pictures we post from time to time, please be sure to check out our Instagram. My daughter Cheyenne's doing a great job of keeping those things posted over there for us. Look at these sheds and carports. Just pushed over. That's the bottom, I think, of a building. And this one is just tipped into the other one. like an old motel so this looks like a maybe a donation center here's the Red Cross supplies out there oh this is the United Cajun Navy guys look at all these pine trees just snapped Welcome, Daddy DeSantis. Man, what a difference this place looks like compared to Perry.
this place here is just pushed completely off of its foundation. This is like a mobile home that just part of it was ripped off and part of the little gutter up there is just fine. The wheels are, the tires are blown out on Man, it's just devastation after devastation. They've just come out here with big machines and just pushed it all in piles. You know what you don't see a lot of though? At, or at least I haven't so far, is boats. Like, where did all the boats go? In the dawn of first light, the sun dance of daylight, would you wait for me? As the days dance wildly, and the winds bring. In the fading twilight Where the days drift by Would you wait for me? Now we'll, we'll take that and get it back to standing and blowing in the breeze. All right guys, well, we're back to hot and sweaty, but that's what we what we wanted, believe it or not. We were just helping some folks at the end of, I don't even, there's not even any road signs around here. So, um, but we were helping Wendy and Gus and 
their house is pretty much going to be demolished but what they're trying to do is go through it and determine what they want to keep and make a pile of that and then stuff that of course needs to go in the junk pile so that's what we were doing um, and then unfortunately Wendy hit her head on a little weed eater fell over in the garage and she was bleeding a little bit and wanted to kind of call it they'd been working all day so we get it that makes sense um, but it was nice to be able to help those folks out so we we put a dent in what they were trying to accomplish so I feel good about that all right guys we made it back to camp we had an awesome day once we left their house we headed back into Chiefland went to Beef O'Brady's had a nice dinner had some wings and now we just made it back to camp but one of the things we did as we were leaving the town of Horseshoe Beach is as we were leaving town, the, the road out of there had like two canals on the side of it or really predominantly maybe on one side of the road. And the water came up so high, it just washed all kinds of things up in there. I mean, we saw refrigerators floating. We saw couches. We saw just you name it, docks, roofs, just Anything you could imagine destructed, is destructed a word? Destroyed, demolished from a town, and just pushed along the side. So we, we kept a few items. Um, we have that tiki bar back at our house. And so we found some things through there. So here's like a little rope with some floats on it. If I'll have to show you our tiki bar because we just hang anything and everything on it. One measly little buoy. We have a few of these already on our tiki, just like this, like three of them um, that we got from Key West from Hurricane Irma, which was a few years ago. Ricky spotted this life jacket. So just a life jacket. So this will probably hang up or go somewhere in our tiki. And oh no, some little guy lost his truck, but we're going to um, preserve its legacy and um we're going to make sure that that somehow gets onto our tiki our tiki bar our tiki hut and the last thing my favorite oh ricky not the last thing ricky got this long just big piece of wood it's in the truck but it's just like a one by eight big piece of wood and he says he's going to put it up in his room and ride on it or something so we'll see what comes of that but check this out guys as ricky was going back to find that piece of wood we found this dude here. And since we have a tiki bar, how cool is it gonna to be to put him on one of the, um, we'll have to, on one of the poles on our tiki, we'll have to name him. Uh, we'll call him Idalia. This is Idalia after Hurricane Idalia. Idalia, Idalia. But anyway, so we're back at camp. It's Sunday night, we're just chilling. We're gonna sit here and maybe crack open a beer and enjoy a little peace and quiet. Ricky has already headed over to uh, my parents, which are right next door. And so Jen and I are going to sit here and enjoy a little bit until he gets back, and then we'll call it a night. No fire tonight, nothing exciting. Um, and then, of course, we had dinner out. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the morning. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Until next time, may God bless you.